Hi Virgo and welcome. Welcome back. This reading is for the week of June the 18th through the 25th. Uh, 2017 for Sun, Moon, Rising, Virgo. After this reading, I'm going to go over to Vimeo, put out a love reading for the week, same time period for you guys. Uh, again, that's Vimeo, and I'll leave the link here for that. Now, let's take a look. And if you want to reach me, does that look important to anyone? It's a justice card. Uh, if you want to look at uh, your own life, questions, concerns, your own birth sign information, you can reach me through my email or my contact form at my website. I'll get back to you. Now, let's do it. What? Oh, boy. This card wants to play this week. Everybody's got something going on. It's a happy time for people. It's also very hot. But the sunshine wants to come through. It's been an awful long time since we've had such a long string of uh, bright days. But boy, is the weather hot. I don't know how it is where you're at, Virgo. Let's see what we're doing that week. For some of you, you're dealing with maybe a new love, some developments around a new love relationship, or an old one, too. But it's usually, see that little fish jumping out of the cup? He brings a message, usually. And so does that little boy, that little girl there. They uh, bring news. And so some of you have some news coming through. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'll show it. Some of you have news coming through. Connected to the family unit, maybe. So you've got the moon, the three of cups, and the five of cups. Some of you... I automatically, especially with the moon card here... Really, Spirit? This is, a, for some of you, it's going to be the cycles of the moon. The female, the feminine cycles. I think some of you, during a phase of the moon, I, I'm not even sure exactly what phase we're in over this period of time. I should look, but if it's important to you, you'll look. Um... Some of, some of you are waiting for the birth of a child. Uh, I think there's a really good reason to believe that uh, this childbirth may be late. You're kind of expecting it to happen this week, but for some of you, uh, if you're waiting for the birth of a child, a uh, sister, yourself, a friend, your own mother... Yes, your own mother. Um, there's something going on that's going to delay the situation. As for the rest of you, it's pretty much the sa same situation. It feels like you're waiting for an event, a family reunion, uh, a gathering of friends, uh, something that's closely knit to happiness and joyful occasions. The community barbecue, your high school reunion. I think there's a glitch in the plans and for some of you, there are going to be delays. The Four of Swords next to the Lovers with the Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. So like I said, I think that there are more unanswered questions than answered, but it feels to me that some of you are going through 
a delay, a delay in an event, a delay in a wedding even. Some of you are making these plans and for some of you, you're dealing with the possibility that you may have to reschedule an event. Um, maybe not so many answered questions. Has uh, your grandmother got pneumonia or um, who knows? Something unforeseen, I think, uh, puts a... It's either putting up boundaries around a situation or a delay, a delay in some celebration. I think that I'm trying to be as general as I can. Um, and this message is coming through flat out very general. Whatever you're planning, I'm doing for enjoyment. You can expect delays. For some of you, it's kind of unforeseen reasons. For some of you, there's a sense of divine timing around it. As if you decide you're going to take a drive to see Granny in Tennessee. And you find out somewhere along the road that, you know, just about the time you would have been on that highway, there's a great big pile up. And so you're thinking, well, gee, I would have been on the highway at that time had I decided to go to Granny's. But I didn't go. That's divine timing. There's going to be a reason, possibly a very spiritually connected reason for your own well-being, maybe, that there's a delay in a plan. There's always a, the opportunity to reschedule, and that's what the message here is. Uh, I would think don't get too upset about the developments because really the delay, there's a really very solid reason why um, your plans may be delayed and you may be dealing with that situation rescheduling airplane flights or uh, canceling hotel rooms or whatever you're doing the delay I think causes a little bit of conflict when it comes to making necessary cancellations and things like that. So some of you are dealing with a delay in a plan, uh, something that maybe you've been very much looking forward to. Um, I really think that maybe the Ten of Cups is saying there will be other opportunities to make this happen, but for right now, all I got, all I got for you guys is that your fortunes are changing around this thing. So whether it's a wedding, a vacation, a party, I think there will be other opportunities to make this happen. The delay is sort of unforeseen. And that's what I've got for you guys. Do I need a clarifier? Let's see, what have I got? The Queen of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So is this the real message? You're, you, there's definitely going to be some delay. Uh, you're going to find out that there is a really kind of a silly reason. Somebody's got some sort of feeble excuse for canceling your plans, but... I, I think that there is some manipulation going on with someone in the situation. 
who for whatever reason has decided they're unable to do this and therefore everything kind of blows up as if the groom decides he's not going to show up for practice the day before a wedding and and I can definitely get that message out of this too so some of you are dealing with delays they're not happy delays and I do think that with the wheel of fortune we do get an up, another opportunity to do this <clears throat> be it a party, a wedding or a trip and there you go. That's what I've got for you guys. I'm going to go now, Virgo, over to my Vimeo channel and do a love reading. And if you want a reading meant just for you, Virgo, you can reach me at my uh, website or my email address. And I'll leave those here for you, too. And until the next time, guys, take care, be well, and peace.